well this question is from mechanics and structural analysis from the topic force energy methods it carries two marks this question is asked the member ab is 3 mm short bc is 2 mm long axial rigidity of all members is constant and then for the given truss deflection of joint d in vertical direction is to be calculated drawing the free body diagram here we ap and applying one kilo newton load at point d this length is four meter this would be five that is root three square plus four square this would be three and this is four this is five this is three meter it is given delta a b is minus three mm delta b c is plus two mm applying unit load at D and finding K system in force AB and BC. K ED is equal to zero. K ED is equal to zero. Applying sigma horizontal equal to zero at this point. There is no horizontal force acting, external and horizontal force acting. So K ED equal to zero and K C D would be one kilonewton. Simply it is carried out by this. One kilonewton is carried out by this. CD member. So K C D is equal to one kilonewton. Now considering this joint and cutting a section here, here we get this K B C, K C E, and this is K C D is equal to one kilonewton. From here. We will calculate K C E into sine theta plus one is equal to zero. It means K C E is equal to minus five by four. Similarly, K B C can be written as minus K C E cos theta. It would be plus point seven five. Also, summation a force about this point it be summation m f would be zero taking moment about this point we get this summation m f equal to zero this one into six this one into six to six is equal to r a into Four. That is, R A is equal to plus one point five. It would be equal to K A B similar. That is, this R A would be stiffness of A B. So deflection. Deflection at D would be. K A B into delta A B plus K B C delta B C. So, the D one point five into minus three plus point seven five into two, which comes out to be minus three mm upwards.